Hello everyone, it's Adonis Turner of Adonis Power Conditioning, and this is going to be a much shorter seminar than last week, and I am wearing the same shirt, I just noticed that, but that is okay because the information I'm about to give you is very, very important. Psychologically, we have been in some capacity uh, brainwashed either positively or negatively. Um, one thing that comes to mind off the top of my head is if you have been physically abused, whether it's you're a kid and abused by your parents, or if you're um, in more common situations, um, a female abused by your husband, you have been abused to believing a certain way negatively. Now, if you're someone who has, um, another example, lost weight uh, because of a motivational teaching that they watch, or if they made, you've made more money, because of a book you read, you have been brainwashed in a positive way. And I believe effective, proper brainwashing is very, very important because you want to think of yourself and have such a strong foundation that no one can just push you over in any direction. You can't, you don't just hear senseless advice and you and take it. You actually have a proper foundation in a particular area that way you know when to say no to certain things, you know when to say yes to certain things, and you know where your passion is going to take you. So I have about four points on here that I wanna make, and there, this could be a much longer video, but I really want you guys to get it, and I want you guys to get, I wanna to get to the point on this. So here it is. So passion, um, one thing I always, well, not always, that I encourage people to do now is to always evaluate is what you're what you're sacrificing something for is it ultimately worth it now i say this because i went to college for three and a half years now not every single year was worthless but not all three and a half years was useful um, once i developed a passion for fitness i should have just went full tilt towards that passion um, because I ended up doing it anyway, and who knows what I would where I would have been with the gym and um, my wife if I never if I didn't delay two years. So just to keep in mind, my gym's been open for a month and a half, almost two months, and keep in mind where my gym could have been if we added another two years to it. So that's one thing to think about. Now hindsight's twenty twenty, but following my passion, I would have gotten here sooner. Um, or maybe in some other fashion, but the bottom line is I wouldn't have delayed where I wanted to go. A lot of people have passions in life and they kind of put it to the side because they get bad advice. And it's very important that not you don't receive advice from everyone you talk to. And in some cases, um, you have to really understand your parents as well. Your parents, they love you and they want the best for you, but they, their perception of what best is best for you may not be what you feel is best for yourself. I granted, if you're watching, I can almost bet money on it that if you're watching this video, you've been told um, in some form or fashion since you were younger, go to school, get good grades, um, get a job. And then if you're about you know 18 to 22, um, if you were in business, you try to make so much money so you can retire at 30. Or if you were you know just a normal nine to five job that you enjoy, that you say like, okay, I gotta make enough money so I can retire and be with my kids. There's a lot of different areas that you're uh, trained to believe, kind of like puppets being operated by some sort of imaginary machine. It's kind of crazy. Like now that I look back and think on it, like once, once you can be objective about it, you think like, wow, that's crazy that I didn't see this sooner. But everyone's taught they do the exact same thing and it gets old. And then like the people that really prosper in life is the people that follow their passion, not the people that make the most money, it's the people that follow their passion because they have no regrets because they did what they wanted to do in a fashion that they were able to execute it on. So with passion, um, it's not necessarily always having your own business. It may be the job you're at, you may be living your passion right now, but the bottom line is if you're not really um, if, you, if you're unable, we'll just we'll give you a way out. If you're unable to follow your passion um, at like full tilt, at least do like 15, 20 minutes a day in that area. I was talking to one of my clients. Um, she has a job that she's trying to get out of. And obviously when you have kids, you can't just up and quit. 
So I always I say to her like, hey, if you, whatever your passion is, even if you never, because of your decisions, ever get to the point where you can do it 10, 12 hours a day, all day, every day, um, at least you know work up to that, and maybe eventually it'll become you know a job that has value where you can make income off of it. Um, so we'll just without narrowing it down, um, she um, a, t a teacher type job, and she wants to do something more music. So I just was telling her like, hey, you're a teacher now, but you probably watch TV, cut the TV off, start playing the piano, start playing it 15 minutes a day, just start playing new songs, start creating songs, whatever your level is at, get better in that, every, in that area every day. And if it's your passion, it'll be effortless to become better in that area every single day. I'm constantly looking up new, informations on, new information on weight loss, muscle building, um, how to diet, things of that nature, because I need to be evolving with the research that is also evolving. I don't know everything, so that's why I need to continue to try to reach that imaginary mark of knowing everything in this field. So follow your passion, follow your dreams, and don't let people that aren't living their dream tell you how to live your life because you will also not be following your, um, following your dream. It's almost irrational and I always um, tell, and I, this is touched on in my goal setting book that I will be releasing. It's irrational to say to be someone who is not um, successful, we'll just say successful financially in this regard, and be giving advice to be successful financially. They can only, based off of their life, give advice on how to not be successful financially. And if it's, and one of the reasons why I lost weight, if it's someone that's trying to say like, hey, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to, I'm going to help you lose weight. I'm your trainer now, but I myself need to lose 50 pounds. Uh, I, I don't know. It's just one of those things where like people become who they're associated with. So if you're someone who is not going to help them, like just based off of your life, not what you say, because your actions speak, speak louder than your words, based off of your life, if you're not someone who is in shape, um, has self-control, is good with their diet, in most cases, very disciplined, you can't give advice on the things I just mentioned because you really don't know what that's like because you are yourself undisciplined. You are yourself. So following your passion and also striving towards being like people who are also following your passion. If you are an actor, you should look at actors, not necessarily that are making millions, but are just acting in the fashion that they want to do it in and then you'll achieve what you want to achieve. Weight loss myth is another tie-in with uh, the brainwashing uh, topic I have for today. People believe that cardio is the best form of weight loss. I don't know what study, and I don't care what study that was came out in the 50s or 60s or 1300s or what the deal was, but there is information out there now that says that to lose weight, the best way to do that is build muscle because it'll increase your metabolism and you'll be able to eat more than you were than you are right now as far as your metabolic rate and you'll still lose weight because your metabolism is increasing because of weight training and interval training. Cardio does not increase your metabolism. Um, I don't really understand. This information is not that uh, modern. Um, and it should be evident based off of what people look like and their frustrations. But um, I believe, I don't, I don't know what, what information people are reading or looking at, but if you really think you're going to build muscle at home or if you want the lazy way out as far as um, trying to avoid a gym or whatever, um, then you're not going to achieve your goals. And that's just something you're going to have to be okay with because you can't really... Unless you buy $6,000 worth of equipment and put it in your garage, you're not gonna build much muscle at home. You're not gonna build much muscle doing body weight squats. You'll be, it's better than doing nothing, but you're not going to achieve what you want to achieve. And that's the reality of it. Find a gym that you're comfortable with. It doesn't have to be my gym, but you need to find something that's going to support you in your success. So back to the weight loss before I go on a tangent. Um, there are a ton of people and a ton of trainers, which is it blows my mind, that will just come, 
walk for 60 minutes, and then leave. And I'm like, you did nothing. That is, you basically did nothing. Um, first of all, what are you paying a membership for if all you can do, if all you're gonna do is walk, just walk outside. I'm always tell clients that I'll never have treadmills in here. There's the, I have 6,000 treadmills just in the parking lot and I don't even have to pay $2,000 a pop for those. Um, unless you're trying to run marathons specifically or long distance uh, events for your sport, you really shouldn't be doing cardio. And let me just be very, very clear on cardio. The cardio I'm talking about is long-term steady state where you can be on your cell phone, your heart rate's anywhere from 100 to 120, 130, where you're not really exerting enough energy to really challenge anything in your body. So weight training and interval training will best support your goals. Now, and this is a brief study that I read about two weeks ago, Two weeks ago and I don't really know who did it or what but they took they took uh, I forget what university they took 10 separate groups group A and group B so group A um, their job was to do three days a week six sets of 30 second all-out sprints so the sprints how it looks like is you go all out for 30 seconds and then you stop for um, maybe two three minutes and you do that again and that's all they did for six weeks um, we go to group B. What group B did, the same amount of days as group uh, A for three days, the group B, what they did was they, um, they did steady state cardio for 60 minutes. Six sets of 30 seconds ends up being about three minutes of work. Because of the rest time, it could be about 30 minutes of being at the gym or whatever, but it's about three minutes of work. 60 minutes of cardio is 60 minutes of cardio. You're doing it for the long haul, steady state cardio. Group A, even though they worked out 5% as much time as group B, they lost twice as much body fat across the board on average. Twice as much body fat. So they did 5% as much time as far as actually moving and they lost twice as much body fat. They worked out for a total of three minutes and also, and also a little bit of rest time, three times a week versus people that worked out for three hours three, throughout the entire week. So nine minutes a week of effort versus three hours a week and nine minutes lost more body fat. So get off the treadmill Hit some weights, and, and, and weights is also interval training. You're not going to get bulky from lifting weights, and if you're worried about that, you got to lose weight, period. If you look bulky, which you don't, you just need to lose your body fat, and then the bulkiness will go away. So you just need to focus on what, what is this information useful, and also evaluating um, the progress associated with what your life is in the gym and understanding that if you're not making progress, you need to do something different. How to change. Um, now, again, like I said in my newsletter that I posted about an hour ago on Wednesday around like 1 p.m., I state that you don't, um, you can't really just, you know, think all of a sudden completely different and things of that nature. Um, you just need to do. Your actions speak louder than words. Your body will manifest regardless of your emotions. Um, and there's, there's, that's actually not 100% true, but your body will manifest um, accordingly. If you work out in the gym, you eat right, and you do what you're supposed to do relative to your goals, you will achieve what you want to achieve. So how to change? You just got to start doing something. I told one of my clients who actually lost 10 pounds in a, a short period of time that the first time I met him, because he's, he's an online person, just start walking. For next year, you're going to commit to 15 minutes a day, every single day, walking. We're not going to worry about your diet too much. We're not going to worry about you know calories or me metabolic rate or anything like that. You have, we just have to start somewhere. You, if you're doing absolutely nothing, it makes it a lot easier to achieve something because you all you have to do is just one 
a little bit of something. Like if you eat fast food with three meals a day, if we just knocked it out to like half the days you eat fast food, three meals a day, and then the other half you eat two, you'll lose weight just off of that and you're still eating fast food. So it's just starting small, a very, very small goal. That way you can develop that discipline over time. You don't want to start off big because you, you won't do it or you won't finish what you're supposed to finish. So um, start out very, very small. Like if you're a weight loss person who hasn't worked out in decades, you want to start off like probably 0.2 pounds a week. Very, very small, something that you know you can definitely do. You don't want to say, I want to lose five pounds a week. I want to be 20 pounds by November. No, just like very small that you can do and achieve. And also don't even, don't set those type of goals unless you know 100% about metabolism, things of that nature. As far as you want to focus on the activity and if the activity is where it needs to be, you'll see results. If it's not, you make adjustments. There is no um, failure. There is no end game. You just make adjustments as accordingly. You adjust your calories. You adjust your work ethic. You may work hours at your job. Oh, did I just say that? Yes, work hours at your job because your health is more important. Work less hours at your job because your health is more important than your bank account. I mean, unless you think ten thousand or whatever more dollars a year is more important than living twenty extra years, um, which I mean, maybe it is to you. It depends on who you are. Um, then I constantly want you to reevaluate what you're sacrificing um, that is causing you not to change. So, if it's reading a book, you haven't read, read a book in years. Start out with a page a day. I uh, don't read much if it's outside of, you know, stuff related to fitness. Um, a page a day may be a good start, five minutes a day, depending on how you like to track things, set a goal like that. Focus on the activity and the activity will manifest results because that is how life works. You can't work hard, you won't work hard and see absolutely no benefit to what you're doing. So start small. When to begin? Right now. After this video, I want you to get something. If you have a draw erase board, a piece of paper, a phone, you do have a phone, and a notepad in your phone, in your hand, whatever. You want to start um, effectively brainwashing in such a way to where you're becoming something better. For me, it was being... Um, being someone I wasn't at the time, someone who had more discipline as far as their food intake. I always had the workout discipline, but the food intake, I kind of ate what I wanted to eat. And, um, and then and when people were looking, I would teach them like, hey, this is how you're supposed to eat. So it's hypocritical. And I'm going to tell you that now. And clients that I had in the past, even though you have lost weight, I do want to apologize for being hypocritical. I only had one client that didn't make any progress um, out of... I don't even know how many clients I've been, uh, been working with, but I digress. Begin now, right now, three things um, that you want to accomplish. That's step one. So pause the video, write three, make sure I get this right, three things you want to accomplish. Now, after you write those three things, because I'm assuming you watched these three things, or you wrote those three things, you want to write something very, very easy to achieve every single day. That's something you'll do every single day for a month. So for instance, um, if you are doing nothing for working out, um, a small goal may be just finding a gym. That may be a goal you can have um, for the first week or something like that. A very small goal could be walking five minutes. A very small goal could be doing one push-up a day and if you do more great but the goal is one push up a day every day for a year you have to start extremely small or you won't start at all there's a reason that uh, and, and everyone's different but for me if someone offers me uh, too much food at one time I can't eat any of it and I know there's some other people like that as well to where if they mentally take on too much classes at school too many credits too many AP courses in high school, they'll never get where they need to go because they're so overwhelmed that they can't focus on anything. 
It's kind of like certain exercise disciplines. You'll be a master, you'll be a jack of all trades, but you'll be a master of nothing. So you want to master whatever your passion is, and you also want to focus in a direction that's going to help you be true to your character and true to your heart. So that is it, guys. That is my advice on effective brainwashing. And I hope you guys can be encouraged by this video. And I hope you guys can also move forward in an area of your life that you may have been struggling with. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next seminar.